Hey guys, this is gonna be the exact same video as the previous one that you see on the channel. This is just more condensed and only covers the actual campaign levels themselves along with what weapons and gear and vehicles you get in each campaign level rather than the entirety of the development blog and all my reactions to every piece of it. This is only gonna contain the actual campaign levels themselves and my final thoughts on this full access pass as a whole. So have a great day, see you later, bye. Hey guys, we have a huge update from the enlisted team today going over all the levels, weapons, vehicles, and aircraft that are coming in the Stalingrad campaign, and including some new models to look at, and it's pretty exciting. We're gonna go over all that together. We also have a, a look at what the full access pass is gonna provide and what it's gonna deny, which is pretty interesting, and I'm not sure, sure how I feel about it, but we'll have to take a look at that as well. So let's go ahead and take a look here at what we're getting. And then as you can see with all the tabs, we do have some things to discuss. I wanna look at the models of the planes that aren't shown in the pictures here, uh, because you know how much I love to fly in this game. So let's get into this, I'm excited. Stalingrad Weaponry. So the next enlisted update featuring a new campaign is getting closer, and in this blog about Stalingrad, we will take you through all 26 campaign levels with weapons, squads, and vehicles. In addition, we'll also run through all the various weapon upgrades found in the campaign, which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's take a look at the Stalingrad levels. Now, um, you'll notice immediately that about half of the levels are only available to full access members, which is the biggest controversy so far that I'm noticing coming out of... Um, out of the community because right now with Normandy or any other campaign really you get everything the only thing you don't get are the premium squads but the premium squads don't make you feel like you're missing out on much right because in reality you still have access to things that are similar or of equal of equivalent skill to use right this changes the game quite a bit and I'm really curious to see how this affects the balancing of the game and it has me very concerned about future levels if they continue to do it this way because I personally don't like this at all. But that's just me. To each their own. I I think this is I think this feels bad, right? This kind of feels bad, right? Hey, our our campaigns will be free for everybody. Anybody can come play this game, but you only get 50% of it or they're saying 60% of it. Whatever. I get it. The money, the, uh, the game needs to make money. I understand that, and this is a new model they're trying just for this campaign so far. I am not a fan of it, though. That's just my two cents. But anyway, let's take a look at the levels. Let's let's move on. Let's be happy. Right now, uh, you're going to start at level one with a trooper, tanker, and a sniper. Pretty standard, and it's the things we normally see, right? A Mosin, man licker. I like calling it a man licker. Leave me alone. Uh, Mosin sniper, K98 sniper, and then a T70 Panzer III. Now here's where things start to get kind of exciting. Medics are level two, which is awesome because that's a new class and medics are available for everybody, which is nice because that would really suck if the new class that they're touting as one of the new mechanics of the game was not available to everybody. So that's good news. One of the other things you'll notice is there's no assaulter one really in the first 16 levels. Yeah, you don't get assault or two till 16. So there's only going to be medics running around with SMGs, which is actually pretty cool for balancing, right? You're not going to have a bunch of people running multiple squads with nothing but SMGs in their roster layout. They're, they're going to only be able to run it with medics. And my assumption is that medics are going to be really limited to how many you can even put in a squad versus how, how big their squad is. I don't know how big their squad is going to be. Maybe their squad is only one unit, right? Because you're just one medic. Or maybe it's three, four. I don't think it's going to be a big squad because, again, there usually isn't that many medics to the soldiers. There's usually one for X amount. So it wouldn't make sense for that squad to be huge. But then again, we don't know. This is going to be up to them and their needs for balancing. They get the PPD they get, and then the Germans get the MP28. I don't like the MP28, just personally. Uh, engineers are level three. Thank God they are not level nine. Good job, Gaijin. Good job. <laughs> Put these things at level three. Make them a low level. That way people can start getting spawn points and start using them so much faster. Uh, Winchester 9, 1895 and the Manlecker 1895. Uh, level four. Our first battle pack, or bat full access, excuse me, only weapon is the Tosby and the Luftwaffe drilling. Totally okay with this. Those guns aren't great. They are fun for memeing, but not much else. Fighter pilots, Yak 7B, BF 109E7. So here's the Yak. This is pretty cool. Just to kind of give you an idea of what this one's going to look like. Again, anybody who plays with me knows I love to fly in the game. So immediately I was looking at all of these, uh, all the plane names. Like, what is this? What is that? It's pretty cool. Um, here's the BF 109E7. Here's one at an air museum called Emil. Pretty rough. 
it's definitely seen better days. Um, Breda Mod 30 and the MG13. Right here's where the Russians get the Breda Mod 30. They get it at level 6. The Germans get the MG13. I love the MG13. That gun is so good. You can use like an assault rifle. Oh, it's great. Level 7. Here's our next full access weapon. The T-34 or the Panzer 3N. I am not a tanker. I don't know two licks about tanks in the game. I don't know how unbalanced this is that these are only full access. I don't know the balancing between the two. I am not making any comments on that. Just, hey, those are full access tanks. Bombers, right? Bombers are anti-tank gunners. They get the PTRS-41 and the GRB-39. So if you notice, there are no Panzerfausts here. So the only thing uh, anti-tank anti gunners are going to have access to are going to be the rifles. Radio operators, they get the SVT-38 and the Guver-41. Or the Guer-41, however you want to pronounce that. Then we have our next full access, which is a plane, the Su-2. I'm going to call it the Su-2. And the Ju-87. Now, here's the Su-2. In case you were curious what this looks like, the Sukhoi. Pretty cool. And then the Ju-87. Any, again, anybody who's played with me knows how much I love dive bombing in my uh, J, JU-87. So this pains me that it's on the full access pass. Uh, and level 11 will be the DP-27 MG-34. Okay, that's that's cool. That's fair. Mortarmen. Again, another one of my favorite things to do in this game is mortar, right? I know a lot of people hate the mortarmen because they're not really well balanced, right? You have no way to counter the mortarmen, but that doesn't mean I can't enjoy using them. Tankers, two, you get these at level 13. So if you don't get for full access, or if you don't pay for full access, you're gonna go 12 levels before you get a new tank, and it will be the KV-1, which is that L11, the big chunky boy they were talking about earlier, and the Panzer IV. Troopers, two, they get the Mosin rifle with the grenade launcher and the K98 with the grenade launcher. The grenade launchers in this game are subpar at best, so that's not too exciting. Level 15, the SVT-40 and the ZH-29. Great weapons full access only assaulters too right this is when assaulters are finally going to make the appearance they get the pps 42 and the mp40 it's fine fighter pilots too more planes behind the full access pass and it's the p40e1 and the iar81c the p40 is this thing here called the war the tomahawk or the kitty hawk um they were part of that lendlease program right lendlease agreement we gave it to them saying hey these are for the protection of america but we're neutral so that's what these were. Uh, apparently they weren't that great. Apparently the, uh, they came not in the best of shape. And then on the other side you have the IAR-81C, which looks like this. There's the War Thunder model. All right, moving on. Uh, then after that, at level 18, you will get the Snipers 2. Sniper SVT, pre-war K98 with K, uh, the scope mount. Standard stuff. Gunners 2, DT-29 AMG-42. I'm indifferent about this being full access because, again, you do get the DP-27 MG-34, which are both great guns. So, you know, this is fine. This one doesn't feel like too bad of a trade-off because you get something pretty similar already. It's just if you want the cooler one, right, because a lot of people love the MG-42, you're going to have to pay for full access. But in reality, you're not screwed because you don't get it because the MG-34 is a very good gun as well. Flame Troopers, thank God they're not full access. They get the flamethrowers. There's not much to say. 21. Thompson M21 28 box mag and the Danuvia M39, right? That's that Hungarian weapon we looked at earlier. Those are full access. Then at 22, full access gets the T34 and the Panzer 4G. Attacker pilot. So you're not going to get an a new plane from 5 until 23 if you do not pay for a full access pass. That feels bad, man. That feels bad. You get the A20G, right? A20G is the big bomber, right? They did have them through the Lend-Lease program here in the Soviet Union. So again, great to the enlisted team, keeping this historically accurate while still finding a way to get variety. I freaking love that they're doing this. And then here is the Potez 633 attack plane. There's the little rear gunner that we are talking about, how you can have an experienced gunner in the back helping you out. So you can close these tabs. That's what you're getting at 23. 24 Assault, there's three PPSH 41. And the trophy version. So at that level, if you pay for full access, you get the trophy PPSH. So the whole the reason why I said up there that this was something interesting to look at is because if they're doing this for balancing reasons to give the PPSH to the German side so they you know don't feel that their MP40 is inferior, they already get PPS42s, they get all these other weapons, but you only get it if you paid for full access. 
if you're on the German side. I don't agree with this. This should not have been a full access weapon, so that way they would have on par something to deal with the PPD box and the PPS-42. That's my opinion. I could be wrong. We'll find out. Engineers 2 at level 25, they get the AVT-40, and this is where they get their MKB-42. And sniper, and, and this makes sense, right? You have the Thompson for the uh, Russians as a full access. You then have the MKB as a full access, at least here. So that's fine. But then you look at the Snipers 3, the final level so far, and it's Sniper AVS-36, but they also then get the MKB-42H. So they're still going to get access to an MKB, albeit only on their snipers, but they still get access to the new gun. They don't. They don't get it up here at level 21 at the Thompson because that's only for full access. So, again, that's why I was saying I have some concerns about this new model. Time will tell, right? This is something we're going to have to play with. I'm not going to lie. I'll definitely get the full access pass because there's a lot of things in here that I want to play with. All the new planes. Like, I'm most excited for the new planes. I want to get my hands on them. I'm going to have to get a full access pass to get them. It sucks, and I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is, right? This is the model we're going with, and I'm allowed to have my opinion on it. Uh, anyways, join the battle for Stalingrad. In the new campaign, there are no more microtransactions. There's just one macro transaction. Instead, you'll buy a full access pass once and get this completely unique combat experience forever. 4x bonus to campaign. Keeping in mind, this is eight times, basically, campaign level. So you're going to go through this eight times as fast if you have premium because you get the, the double X XP. So you're going to level through these levels really quick. I still don't know how I feel about that either, right? The grind is what I'm here for. I like the grind. Getting through this grind eight times faster, I don't know if I want that because I enjoy logging in saying, hey, what can I work on today? And once you take that away, what purpose do I have for logging in and grinding? None. So do I really want to play the game? Don't know. I mean, all the other campaigns, obviously, they're not running the same model, so that's still applicable to them. But something I've been thinking about. Uh, let's see here. We've covered this in detail in the previous announcement, which I did make a video on. In addition to receiving full access to Battle for Stalingrad, the set also contains the pre-order bonuses, which are the two flame tanks and some of the um, cosmetics. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything that we have to go over in the new update. There's a lot of information in here, some things that I like, some things that I don't. I'm not sure how balancing it is going to work out with the way that they limit some of the things that each side gets because of the full access path. So I don't know. It's just something that has me concerned. I don't know how I feel about this model right now. I at, at, at face value right now, reading this update, I'm not a fan, right? I really am not because of how many things they're removing from the game unless you pay for it, right? Stuff like that is going to be frustrating, right? I don't know how tankers are going to feel, right? You're going to have a T-70 basically until level 13 where you get the kv1 and then that's all you ever get you don't get any other variety in the campaign other than two tanks it just seems like this is like the great value version of a campaign right you have here's the walmart version with everything and here's the great value version with all just some some things here and there right some of the ingredients are missing right that's what makes it cheaper and why it doesn't taste as good but it's still gonna it's gonna still function right you can still use it in your kitchen it's all right so i don't know i don't know i got a lot of things to think about i'm rambling because i my brain just cannot process this the way i want it to because i don't like it I just really don't hopefully they don't do this again hopefully if enough people you know outcry against this model they don't do it anymore but yeah like i said it, it's just gonna be something that we're gonna have to look into we're gonna have to play with i personally don't like the model at all that's just my opinion on it but time will tell. Time will tell. So you guys have a great night. Have a great weekend. Have a great day. I don't know what time it is for you. I will not presume. Um, but yeah, as always, remember you have self-worth. Don't let anyone take that away from you. Bye.